if there was no road, I would just be lost and then I would die out here. 100%. There's no water. This is like, this is very precious. Precious water. Remember that scene in Lord of the Rings where Frodo's like, Sam, I'm out of water. Here, take this, take this. Hmm. Sam, I need water. Please. Please. Yeah, Mr. Frodo, have some of mine. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you. Frodo, stop it. You're spilling it. Oh, Frodo, Mr. Frodo. Oh. We're out of water, Sam. Uh, we're gonna die out here. Oh, I love you, Sam. Thank you. Say naked in the dark. Naked in the dark. <laughs> yeah. Naked in the dark. Nice. There's a lot of holds and, and options on this climb. And uh, it took a little puzzling to figure out the what felt like V4 or the easiest way to do this section here. This section was not so hard, but this little section getting into the, the top section took a little puzzling. But I think I figured out the easiest way for the V4 way, you could say. I haven't done this section though, so we'll see how it goes. Is this in? Uh, no. That's the ground. Is this in? Yeah. Yes, sure. that's the route. Okay, that makes sense. I like that distinction. That checks out with me. as easy as it looked honestly that whole top section was I thought it was gonna be cruiser but like those top holes are in just flat ledges to the top I guess I'll go to the top little chassis wow that little v fork turned into a free solo I, I was not expecting that I walked all the way around this entire structure, that entire structure, everything. This is the only like thing that's worth climbing. For bouldering, I guess. This is the only solid rock, but it's worth coming to, for sure. It's awesome. Especially the middle line, I thought that was the best one, which the book agrees, so sometimes the book has it right. It's interesting, it's not a low ball, not really a high ball, or like a free solo. It's like a low ball free solo. <laughs> <laughs> nice, come on. It never gets to the point where you're high balling, you know, I mean, you wouldn't want to fall from right there. But you just kind of go from like low balling to like regular bouldering <coughs> to free soloing. You breathing, come on, you got it. I knew that was gonna happen. I'm pulling pads for you. Ow, my ankle. Nice. My breathing is so good. Mm hmm. That was fun. That looked fun. Three stars. Yeah. Really cool. Yeah. I love traversing that lip with my heel in the entire time and just flag left, flag right, flag left, flag right. It was sick. Oh, oh shit. Forget about this part. I was trying to get Jake's scent in like a nice one -er, and I'm like doing a really good job 
I'm trying to keep it steady while walking around in bare feet in the desert with all the cacti and the uneven rock. And then I twist my ankle on this. Arrgh. Oh, there's some ants down there. The line of ants. That's nice. I'm twisting my ankle on it. It hurts. It'll be fine though. Now I gotta send the uh, the one star V6 variation. You will pay for the murder of my family and clan! Scorpion, finish him. This route's kind of chassis. It's only one star. But Jake did the middle one, I did the other one, and... I guess someone's gotta do it! Left, left heel, left hand, right, right hand, right hand, cam. Yeah. I made that way way harder probably. Got feet like so many times. Keep breathing, keep moving. How was my breathing? Loud. Leave a comment in the comment section below if you thought my breathing was any good. Give me a five star rating, zero to five. How good it was. It's definitely how people die free soloing, man. I'm like way more tired and I've done it a bunch of times so I was like not thinking as much as I should have been. Damn, that's a cool, cool roof. Cool features. It's like a roof slash free solo. Super, super fun. Like, highly recommended for sure. Even though it's way out here. But I mean, I doubt you find any other people out here if you're looking for like a day kind of isolated. For reference, the, the Hidden Valley Campground is behind this gigantic structure here, that direction. Yes. Hidden Valley is right on the other side of this. And then on the other side of the one behind that. I was just walking around looking for boulders, as one does. And right on the other side of Scorpion Roof, I found one of the most beautiful little spots. No climbing, unless you want to climb some dead trees. But look at this. Look at that little oasis. It's beautiful. And the sunset. Absolutely. The things you find in the desert. Joshua Tree is a beautiful place, I will say. Boulderings, pretty good. The boulderings, pretty good. Scorpion roof, pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. But man, the beauty's unmatched. That's for sure.